What's up, dude? What's up? Oh, man, how are you doing, bro? I'm just gonna try this new thing called the Charlie Charlie. You know that's the dumbest shit I've ever heard, right? I'm gonna get a beer. Let me know when you're done playing. All right. But he said, Charlie, Charlie, are you here? Oh, dude, what the fuck? Must have been Charlie. What's up guys, Puzzle Man here. Today, I really just want to get out and use that Wagner again. Now, I had kind of a specific idea on my hood that I want to do. I want to kind of go from abstract to neat or organized, I guess you want to call it. You're going to see a lot of taping and peeling, but the one thing you keep in mind, there's really no good specific instruction I can give you other than when you tape a design onto your hood and you plasti dip it down, um, make sure that you peel that tape up while it's still wet. So. Let's get started. I did this to my Camaro when I had it, but I didn't make a video and I've been kicking myself in the ass ever since because a lot of people have asked about these stripes and how to do it. You know the best way is to just show you. Basically take your general design, how you want it, get everything covered up, and of course your last layer of tape needs to be your final lines that you're going to peel up. In my last project, I had two gallons of black unthinned Plasti Dip with UV protection. I thinned those down and I made four sprayable gallons. What I had left over was a half gallon of that sprayable Plasti Dip, and that's all I've used on this. And I'm getting down to my last layer, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray really thick right here, um, and then I'm going to work my way across the hood. Now the whole hood is thick enough to peel later on, uh, that, that half gallon is going to be more than enough. Um, but when I spray this part, since this is the tape that I'm going to peel up, I'm not going to immediately peel it. I'm going to spray and keep going. I want those thinners in the plastic dip to have enough time to get these edges of the tape wet where I'm going to peel it up so I can get a good clean cut. I gotta say I like it, but I kind of don't feel like it's enough. So I'm actually gonna break out the aerosols and try something a little bit kooky. Honestly, I don't even know how it's gonna turn out. So um, here's open.
If you're gonna do something like this, just let the razor blade score the surface of the dip. Don't put any pressure on it. This is kind of more of an art and something that you're gonna need a little bit of experience on. I'd recommend getting a doo-doo hood from a junkyard or something before you try it on a good paint job. You push down too hard, it does not take a lot to go through and you will cut your clear coat up. Now what you're not able to see on the camera is as I'm peeling it away that the dip is still connected to each other, it's just tearing by the score that I'm making. If you're peeling this off and you're getting a clean cut all the way through, you've gone too deep. Whoa, yes, whoa. Huh? What is that? Oh. Are you here? Oh, do it again, do it again. Because I blew it the wrong way, it went to no. I don't even know what to say. What was I going to say? It was Must have been Charlie. Must have been. <laughs> All right, let's do it again.